Hi guys, so today's video is going to be what's in my makeup bag. I went and stayed with my mom this weekend for two nights because I'm leaving my husband or getting a divorce. I'm just kidding. I went and stayed with my mom. Wouldn't it be funny though if somebody was like, I'm going to do a what's in my makeup bag because I'm leaving my no good husband and staying with friends. Um, I stayed with my mom this weekend because we went shopping and we were down about two hours away and her house is a lot closer to where we were shopping so I ended up just staying with her and we kind of just made a weekend out of it. That's funny though, I know. I can't keep a straight face so, but yeah, wouldn't that be comical though? I guess it wouldn't be funny if somebody was getting a divorce but you know what I mean. Okay, the tidal wave has been going strong for like eight hours so if it falls flat during this video, um, I'm sorry. Okay, so the makeup bag that I am using is the Too Faced bag that came with um, my a few of my favorite things palette. I really like it. I think it's really cute and it does hold a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to start grabbing and show you guys what is in here. So the first thing I have is my Jane Bronzer. This is in the shade Inspire and it looks like that. This has become like my favorite bronzer. I love this. I have it on today. It just, it blends out so nicely, it's not muddy, and it's cheap. I mean, it's inexpensive. I know some people get upset when you say the word cheap. It's inexpensive, and I love it. The next thing I have is my NARS Light Reflecting Pressed Setting Powder. It looks like this. I'm trying with this. I had to take a spoolie and scrape the top layer off because it was very... I wasn't getting anything. So I did that and now I can actually get a teeny tiny bit of product. I don't know about this stuff. I really don't know. The next thing I have is the Marc Jacobs Lolita. I have to say it like that. I just have to. I have this on my eyes today. It is just the best palette. I love it. I'm not going to, I've talked about this so many times, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but it's gorgeous. It's so good for every day, but it is so expensive. So the next thing I have is a L'Oreal Infallible. This is in the shade with a twist, and I think this was limited edition, but this is the eyeshadow that I always use if I do like a purple smoky eye. I love this eyeshadow. I guess I could swatch it for you guys. It looks like that. It's just amazing. It has like an iridescence to it when you put it on your eye. I love it. I have two Clinique Chubby Sticks Shadow Tint for Eyes. The first one is Lavish Lilac and it's just a really pretty like a taupey purple shade. I like this one because it's not crazy pigmented but you still get decent color payoff and it's just the prettiest shade of like toby purple. Look how pretty that is. And then the other one I have is Lots of Latte. And this one's more of like a kind of a brownish champagne color. But they work very well together and they're just so easy. You can just swipe it on, blend it out with your finger. You don't even need a brush. I have this Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. This is in Luminous 2. I use this as a brightener like under my eyes, down my nose, and I've talked about this before. I really like this one because it's very creamy and it doesn't give me that like crepey look under my eyes. I have the Tarte Glamazon Lipstick in Whimsy. This is a new one. You guys know this is my favorite brand of lipstick like this type. And I ended up getting this hot pink one. Let me swatch it for you guys. Look at that. I know it's not a winter shade, but I wore this yesterday and it's just so beautiful. It's such a like Barbie pink color and it looks so nice if you just have a very neutral eye. I the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto. Via Veneto. I don't know. It's just a black eyeliner, but it's like so black. Look at that. Love it. And then I have the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is what I have on today. This is like my new favorite thing. They are so matte and they are a little bit drying, but they last forever. And look at that color. It's like so intense. I also got another one. I got Dragon Girl. And I had this one before. I think this is more of a, like a true red. Look how beautiful that is. 
Um, I didn't pack this one with me, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. I have my Tarte Eyelash Curlers, and they have little sparkles on them. They are so freaking adorable, and they fit my eye perfectly. I don't know how Tarte got my eye shape to make these with, but I'm telling you, they made them for me. They fit so well. And then I have the Pixie Corrector in Brightening Peach. And this I put on before my concealer to cover up <laughs> the no sleep that I've been getting. I have my Marc Jacobs foundation. This is the Genius Gel in Fawn Light. And I have this one today mixed with my Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. So I mix these two together. I love this one by itself, but if I know I'm going to be like out and about and I need coverage all day and I don't want to have to touch up. I'll just mix in a little bit of foundation just to give it a little bit more staying power, but it does stay really good on its own. And then I have the Buxom True Hue Blush in Shangri-La La, and it looks like that. I have this one today, so you can see when it's on your face, it's not this dark. It kind of blends out, and it almost looks kind of peachy. I recently got this, and I'm just kind of still trying it out, so I don't know yet. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I hate it. I'll have to keep you guys updated. I have my Sigma eyeshadow in Notre Dame, and this is like the most beautiful color. Look at that gorgeous color. I love it. So it looks like that. It's very similar to this chubby stick, so I can kind of use the two together to get this really pretty, like, taupey purple eye. This is going to surprise you guys, and I haven't told you yet that I'm back in love with this. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. So I used to use this probably about a year ago. I used this for over two years and this was the only concealer that I would ever use. It's the only thing that doesn't crease on me and then something happened and I got really pissed off at MAC and I stopped using all of their products but I recently picked up another one of these and I have to tell you it seriously is the best concealer. I am not the hugest fan of MAC makeup but this concealer is amazing. There's a reason people rave about it constantly because it is amazing. Then I have the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips, and I was so excited to get my hands on this, and I don't like it. It, I feel like it just sits on my lips, and it doesn't moisturize them. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. And then I have my Benefit Highbrow. You guys have seen me talk about this before. I put this right under my brows just to kind of brighten it up. It is the easiest product. You just put it on, blend it in with your fingers, you cannot mess it up. This product I've been using probably for like four years. Every day, it has been such a good product. I have nothing bad to say about this. If you guys have never tried this, it's so good. And then I have my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is my favorite product of the moment. I'm so obsessed with this mascara. I talked about this in my Best of Tarte video, which I will link below. I freaking, freaking love this mascara so much. And the last two things, I have my Jane Eye Primer. I do not know how it got so dirty, but it did. I really, really like this eye primer. I have it on today. I've been using it, and my eyeshadow has not been creasing. So this, my friends, is a kick-ass eye primer. If it keeps my shadow on, it will keep anybody's eyeshadow on. And the last thing I have is the NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. I got this from my cousin, but I think she got this as like a 100-point perk at Sephora because I've seen them there. I like it because it has a little bit of radiance in it, but it also does a really good job at keeping my face on all day. All right, guys, that's it. Makeup bag is empty. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all, and I hope you guys have a kick-ass day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
how dirty that is? I'm a cow. I'm a cow. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one huge open sleigh. You're mad that those bells are jingling. You are so mad. Hmm. Hi, guys. Oh, God. I really don't like the way that I sound. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. So, <laughs> you guys know I hate myself right now, don't you? Hi, guys. So, to... Beat that. Beat that, bitches. Hi, guys. <laughs> Why would anybody be that excited? Why? So, Glove was in a bar fight, and he got dirty, and I can't get it off. Glove, you are stained for life. He's scarred. Not, not scarred like scurred. He's scarred like... <laughs> did I really have to... Did I really have to, like, specify that for you guys? No, I didn't. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. You have hit a new low. All right. Get your shit together. Focus your ass. So you're a loser and you're always going to be a loser. Just keep that in the back of your mind.